Everything moves at such a fast pace these days. Once in a while, it's nice to slow down and appreciate the little things. Because it's often the little things that make big things happen. This all started with a simple idea. Encourage Canadians to plant native wildflowers in gardens, yards and balconies throughout their communities. To see what magic might happen when friends and neighbours come together to help create habitat for bees and butterflies. The Butterfly Way project began in 2017. Despite the pandemic, the project has truly blossomed. Volunteers in hundreds of communities working together, getting their hands dirty, connecting with their community and creating habitat for local insects and wildlife. These are the Butterfly Way Diaries. Stories that show what's possible when you give back to the little things. In 1993-94, there was a movement right across the prairies to grow native plants. Uh, people wanted a better way of gardening. Gail is the head gardener of the Native Prairie Garden at the Royal Saskatchewan Museum in Regina. But it wasn't quite the right time, and there was a lot of pressure from the horticultural industry, a lot of pushback. And I don't think that same kind of pushback is happening. So now we've picked it up again. People are starting to realize that um, there are better ways to garden, and one of those ways is with native plants. Over the past five years, she's been rejuvenating the garden. The plants get a lot of freedom, as you can see. Educating others about the benefits of native plants. You might see 15, 20, 30 species of bees and other insects on here. It's a mini microclimate here. We really emphasize the three keystone species, the asters, the goldenrods and the sunflowers, 75% of the pollinators will use those plants. By encouraging people to grow those three species in their garden, they, they can't imagine, just within a year of, of the plants blooming, the insects will find them. I don't know how they find them, but they will show up. Gail also volunteers with the Butterfly Way Project as a Butterfly Way Ranger. I was talking about a pollinator corridor through the whole city, and then as I'm talking about this, I found out about the Butterfly Way, and I went to the website, and they said, no, it's closed, you have to wait. You know, months went by, and I'm, when can I join, when can I join? So there's me, all summer long, saying, we gotta join this, we gotta join this. <laughs> it's our pollinator project, but bigger, it's right across the country. And the next year, that was when I joined. And, and, it, and it's taken off since then. Since 2017, Butterfly Way rangers throughout the country have planted thousands of pollinator-friendly plants and created hundreds of wildflower gardens. In a city, it's a bit of a disconnect because people have this idea about where the animals belong and where their plants belong. Once they get used to having the insects in their garden and don't see them as something bad that needs to be taken out, then they start to notice that the birds will come. In our own gardens, we've got more than twice the space of all the parks there are in the city. And it's so easy to do. You're not waiting for the government to change regulations. <laughs> You're not waiting for somebody else. You can just change your garden. Just walking between your house and your garage, if you actually stop and look at who is there on the way, you'd be amazed at what you can learn just in a short walk around your own garden. 